Hey everybody, decided to make a video today because on the last video where I had the, you know, the lawnmower engine to the outboard, I had a lot of questions about that and people really wanted to know how I put the two together. So there was quite a few people that wanted to know that and I got enough inquiries about it, decided to make a video and explain it. So for you just tuning in, here's what we got. All right. Subscribers been with me a while seen this. I have changed the motor since the video. We've upgraded to 18 horse twin. But this is a 18 horse Briggs L engine. It did have a 12 and a half on it. Started with a 6, then a 12, and then Buddy gave me this. So they got this on here now. Works good and goes pretty fast. So it'll plane this big boat out with me on it. But I need to get to the lake and make a video. I've got to put a coil on it. Coil went out the other day, so. I did order one, got it coming. But anyway, and hopefully the wind ain't too bad. Wind's blowing out here, so hopefully it ain't messing with the mic on this too bad. But anyway, when I, how I bolted this Briggs to this Mercury lower down here, you can see it's a Mercury Force, is what it actually was, but Division of Mercury, you can see it right there. Now, Force, Chrysler, same thing, all made by U.S. Marine. But anyway, this is a 9.9 or 15 horse lower, and this come out of an old, old MTD mower, I think it was. But how I couple these together are these little deals right here, and this is the key to this deal. These are love joys, or at least that's what we call them here. You got one here and one here, and there's a little old rubber piece that goes in between them. If you'll see, hopefully the camera's picking up, but you can see the gap between... The teeth on the Lovejoys, or a lockjaw coupler, I think they're called too. But that's how I did that. This is a 7 8 shaft up here on, or excuse me, 1 inch. 1 inch shaft on this big motor up here. And then the motor that was on this lower, the factory one, we cut the crank out of it. I did. And I put it inside this Lovejoy. And it was a 3 quarter inch fit perfectly on the center. So we basically made a three quarter inch to a one inch shaft here with these. And they bolt right together. These are the same outside diameter. They're balanced good. And then we made the plates and the spacers. And we got all this fixed. And here's my, I made my shifter and everything. So you can see it right here. But that gives me forward, neutral, reverse. I've got a four stroke air cooled outboard motor. Works awesome. I love this thing. I will be building more and I'll probably make some detailed videos on the next one but the first time I did this I was kind of guessing myself and I didn't want to give no bad info so I didn't film it but now that I know it and I learned a lot of tricks on this so next one I'll make a video of it and then anybody that wants to do this can do this but I didn't want to give any bad info guessing as I went along so but now I know how to do it I know the tricks and next one when I build it I'll make a detailed video of it so Back to this. But anyway, like I said, here's these love joys. That is the key element to this. So, and I'll show you what they look like. I got some over here on the trailer. You can see, and you get these, you can order these offline, you can get these, uh, I got these from Tractor Supply. They're like, I think they was 850. I know they're under 10 bucks, I think they was 850, but. G and G. This one's a three quarter inch. They say Nova Jaw on them too. Maybe that's another name for them, but we always call them Love Joys. But anyway, three quarter. This one's seven eighths. And this one is a seven sixteenths. But you can see, let me see if I can line them up here. See the whole difference? Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Quite a bit of difference. And then this one's a three quarter. So I mean, you got all three different sizes here. It's three quarter, seven eighths, seven sixteenths. And that's how you bolt different shafts together. And there's a little rubber spider that actually goes in between the two. And it uh, keeps the vibration down, locks these solid together, but it still gives them a little give. And if you'll notice, uh, same outside diameter. So it don't matter. I mean, you can take one or the other different sizes and that's what they're made to do. And let me center it. See the gap? That's what your little rubber's for. And it gives a little bit of a damper too, so it helps. But that is how you bolt a 
regular lawnmower engine, you know, don't matter, Kohler, Briggs, Kawasaki, whatever you can get your hands on, and bolt it to a, you know, outboard motor lower. And you can build you a little four-stroke air-cooled mud motor. And these little pieces are the key. And then that little rubber that goes in between them. Like I said, you'll put it on the bottom one and flip it, line it up, and there you go. But that right there is the key element. Like I said, uh, they say Nova Joe on the sticker, but I got these at Tractor Supply. Atwoods carries them. Maybe your local hardware does. I mean, just depends on the area you're at. But you can always get them offline, too. Measure your shafts, and then there you go. So, but that is how you bolt just a regular old lawnmower engine, like that, down to a outboard lower leg there. And I love this thing, and I need to do a, I'll make a video when I change the coil out, and then we'll make another one and go take it out for a lake run. But I've had this one out a couple times till the coil quit me, and I've got it on order, it's coming, and we'll get it in, and I'll make a video of that. But like I said, that little piece, those love joys are the key element to this. And they're not that expensive. And the best part, if you ever want to pull this motor off or put another one on, you can take it out, take this little Allen screw out and pull the shaft right out and swap you another engine in it and unbolt it. I made this where it was serviceable. So I have seen videos. I want to do this for a long time. And of course, I did it my way. I've seen lots of videos where people... They drill the center of the shaft out and put it over and run a bolt through it. I didn't like that because of the balance. That just looked unbalanced to me. And then I've also seen where they put a socket on it, run it up, run a bolt through that, and then welded the socket up around the shaft of the lower. Well, you can't ever change the motors or nothing out that way. And I didn't want to do that. When I build something, subscribers have been with me a long time, know that I've built a lot of stuff and I always make it where I can service it or change it later. It's made to be worked on. I hate something that you put together and that's it. When it's done, it's done. This particular setup, I can switch the motor out later. If the motor throws a rod, I can unbolt it real quick. A few bolts and a little bit, of, about two or three wires, a couple cables. You know, 30 minutes, we got another motor on here and it's still usable. Same thing with this. If I hit something and tear this lower all the pieces, fine. I can unbolt that, take that motor and all these controls and stuff off. I got another lower. I can put that on another lower. I hate something that's once it's built, it's together, that's it. You gotta run until it's dead, then you're left with junk when it does quit. So I always build stuff to be serviced and maintained and workable. Just a lifetime of working on stuff, that's always been very important to me. So anyways, like I said, the love joys is how I've done this for the people that really wanted to know. So I hope that answers everybody's questions. And I've got another one of these I'm gonna build and I'll make a detailed video of that. And like I said, I hope the wind ain't messing with the camera too bad, but I guess that's it. So for all you want to know, there you go. So I guess that's it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. It don't cost nothing. If you do, click the bell, and then you'll get notified of every video like this and every other one I put out. And I guess that's it for this video. So. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.